All right, so hello everyone. Welcome to the channel and uh, this is going to be the lunar eclipse in Aquarius that happens tomorrow for those who are in the uh, United States and today for those who are in uh, Australia and um, those who are in, yeah, basically in Europe and Australia. Anyway, so as per usual, this is going to be uh, the five card spread, the deck which I'm going to use that will be the traditional reader weight. The particular version I'm using that is radiant reader weight because it's the most co colorful of all. Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the table. And uh, yeah, basically that's that. So the first three cards represents the uh, material aspect of the lunar eclipse and the second couple of cards represents the ethereal or rather the spiritual aspect. Well, ethereal and spiritual is the same thing. All right, so now shuffling and going from Aries to Pisces, uh, I will try to be uh, rather sh brief, all right, as strict as possible. Not because I want to squeeze the reading uh, too much, but because I'm now working on the weeklies, on the monthlies, etc., etc. And really, I don't have much of an energy. But anyway, so... Oh yeah, and it, you can you can totally watch it on recording after the stream is done, and uh, or you can go into YouTube or here in Facebook, whatever wherever you know suits you best. And also, not to forget at the end of the stream, or rather after Pisces is done, I'm going to take a um, several questions from the audience to answer to those questions with uh, drawing a tarot card. The questions will be chosen completely randomly, and um, if you want a, a free reading, guys, that is the way you get it. You either stay till the end of the stream or catch it by a chance. All right, enough shuffling, and let's go to Aries goes first. And that that Facebook comments are again messed up, at least for me. I always have to scroll them down so I can see what um, what you're writing, guys. All right, so Aries is uh, the first card representing the topic. That is going to be the Ace of Cups. Then we do have the Lovers as the Challenges. Um, afterwards, that will be the Fool as Intentions. The Star card as a... Um, lesson that you need to learn and afterwards we do have supportive energies for you Aries that is going to be the five of wands so again uh, I will from now on guys on all lives I will not waft the cards like this in the air but rather I'm going to place them on my table once I am showing them to you uh, so we do have the ace of cups the lovers then is the four star card and Ace and five of wands. All right, so I will put the, the the last two cards aside for now and let's work with the first three. So what happens here, Aries, is first of all, we do have the Ace of Cups, which is uh, your topic. So obviously something thrilling and something exciting is going to happen. Exciting from emotional standpoint, not from a, a passionate standpoint. All right, so it will something will happen which you would rather love quite a lot to, to be in a presence in your life. And usually the Ace of, uh, the Ace of Cups is associated with uh, a surprise, you know, which uh, actually makes your current and undertaking issues so far quite irrelevant. That could be, I don't know, that could be a brand new project that could save your place at work. Or it could be as well, uh, I don't know, or a person that you can, uh, the person that you can flirt with. One second, guys. So, um, yeah, that could be a person that you can start flirting with in case your current uh, relationship isn't sorting out 
for you or rather isn't working out for you but the lower scar as the challenges here for you Aries, this explains that it will be a very hard for you to decide for some reason what exactly you need to do should you stay on that particular path should, or, or should you give yourself away to that i a new exciting enterprise it is all that really that particular card represents because from one side the enterprise will make your ongoing issues um irrelevant but from the other side, the lower card suggests you to resolve your current issues, all right? So it's kind of like we do have a certain dilemma for you. And luckily, guys, um, either way is going to suit you best, all right? So whatever you choose, there is no literal way how you can make the, right, the, the wrong choice here, all right? And uh, the full card as an intentions, it's kind of like orientating you, giving you a compass here to more be prone to uh, explore that new enterprise rather than to just stick and try to resolve your ongoing current issues. So it's kind of like, you know, adding a, a new variety into your uh, into your daily routine. The star card as the lesson points that every time after a, a turmoil or every time after a bad period of time, a new one follows, which is this time uphill all right so it's kind of like you know from uh, from a downhill you go to an uphill so you can expect there is that this week is going to be rather more positive for you and it's gonna let's say that the hard work from the past is going to pay off big time not to mention that the star card points that you should rely or rather uh, there will be people which will like to give you help all right or support you through your development and the card is suggesting you to kind of like try it out okay because you could be proud and you may uh, deny that particular help but this time around it will be beneficial for you to take advantage of it five of wands as a uh, supporting energy represents that nothing can cut you off guard in other words whatever is thrown in your way from the for the next couple of weeks after the um eclipse takes um takes part or rather like uh, takes place uh, then you will be quite ready for any kind of around turns and any kind of surprises and you will be able to kind of maneuver with them quite so <clears throat> okay or with slight should I say all right so Eri is done and now going to uh, Taurus By the way, guys, I don't know how it's going to go. I mean, this live, but maybe I will need a break after, let's say, a Virgo for five minutes. All right. <clears throat> I hope that you don't mind. But uh, that that it, that will be decided on go. I mean, I, I haven't decided it yet. Should I make a break or not? All right, so Tauruses, for you we do have the Emperor as a, a topic of your week and then is the Devil as a challenge is here. So it does look like just from those couple of cards that you will really take control or rather like exert power, authority and as well, you know, um, ability to alter things and especially outcomes when it comes to your ongoing um, things. And then we do have the Chariot card. So quite of a, a major period of time for you, Taurus is here. Three major arcanas and the fourth one joins them with the Wheel of Fortune representing the, uh, the lessons that you should learn. And then we do have the supportive energies from your behalf, which are going to be the Four of Cups. So four majors out of five cards, a very uh, significant period of time for you. And uh, by looking at these cards, I would suggest you to rather try something heroic, something that you would in normal circumstances think that it is rather unreachable for your standards or for your capabilities. That is kind of displayed here with the Emperor and the Devil card next to the Chariot. Now these three cards in conjunctions, uh, in conjunction does represents the true strength of, uh, well, literally said the Emperor, all right? So basically you will have the, um, let's say the authority to really call the shots, but also uh, they reflect the responsibility that one leader takes. So in other words, if the ship starts sinking, you have to be the last one, the, the last one leaving the ship. All right. So in case you go, uh, in case you kind of like have to endure failure, you have to take a full responsibility for that. But this is just a cumulative um, 
explanation. So the emperor as a, a topic of your lunar cycle represents that you will be able to re, uh, re, uh, maintain and regain back control upon your situation. Not to mention that you're going to show yourself as a very strong leader. So that card itself gives you prerequisites, especially career-wise, for promotion. So if you are um, if you are prone to get a promotion, this couple of weeks probably will be the time where you're going to lay down the foundation, showing yourself capable of being worthy for one's promotion. But therefore, we do have um, the devil here. And the devil is kind of like a, a, a stop sign to think about uh, what you're going to do with all that newfound power, let's say. All right, because the devil gives you that... Um, delirium all right because when one obtain a great amount of power and is able to alter outcomes as i said one tends to kind of misuse it all right one thinks itself as an almighty so don't do that mistake this is all the challenges that you have to overcome here not think of yourself as an almighty because whoever gave it to you i mean that power the same one could take it away all right and then we do have the chariot, which is the intentions you should rather have, and that is related to try something heroic, something that uh, at this particular moment before the eclipse, you thought rather unreachable and uh, you thought yourself being incapable to achieve it. But now with this newfound power of your behalf, you will definitely be able to. And then we do have the, the um, wheel of fortune as a lesson. And that card typically reflects to when you gain when you gain means, all right? And it reflects to that one needs to catch the exact moment. So basically, whenever you have those means I spoke about, you know, the, the, the power, you should act upon it on site rather than to wait to kind of like diminish. Because it's going to be, I think, it's going to be something like an impulse looking at these cards, all right? And uh, as, uh, the longer you wait, the, the less effect that particular impulse is going to have upon your life, either upon career or either upon relationship. And then Taurus says that will be the Four of Cups, which is the uh, energies which are going to support you guys. Uh, basically, uh, this lunar cycle will deprave you from... Um, laziness and will deprive you from a, a believing into the doom and gloom so always you are, will be able to find your way through hello Chantal hello everybody who joined I hope you enjoy the stream so now next one that will be Gemini All right, so Page of Pentacles will be Gemini's topic. And afterwards, we do have the um, Nine of Pentacles as a, a Gemini obstacles or rather challenges that they need to overcome. Five of Wands will play a role as intentions of uh, Gemini's Lunar Eclipse. Then we do have the Judgment card, which is the lesson that Gemini needs to learn. Two of Swords will be the energy supporting Gemini's. All right, that is a tough one. I will not gonna lie. All right, so that that truly is a tough one. First of all, Gemini, uh, we do have the Page of Pentacles as a topic of your week, and I don't believe that this is a, a person, especially next to the Nine of Pentacles as a challenges. We are talking about some sort of a slowly growing thing, slowly growing emotional connection for example in, in between two people slowly growing a, a career opportunity that you may have here because the page is rather more um, reflected especially in general for those kind of a uh, opportunities which has to be nurtured and which has to be taken care of so they can give you any fruits all right 
And the Nine of Pentacles is a challenge uh, here points only one thing and one single thing is that you have to take care of it alone. So you can't rely on any help or any support along the way. Not because you are going to lack uh, people who will be willing to help you, but because those people can't help you at all. And then we do have, um, for example, just to give you a couple of examples, let's say that you are aiming for a particular job spot and you got to, let's say, uh, you basically have to fight for it on your own and you can't use any kind of connections you do have. Or if we're talking about emotional connection, the relationship potential here, you have to kind of... Uh, hit on that person on your own and you cannot rely on common and mutual friends to pass the message that you actually have an interest all right something like this five of wands here as an intentions points that you if things aren't working out because they most likely i'm going to work out from the first try you uh, you initiate and frankly said this is the murphy's law guys if you try something and happens from the first time then obviously you have made a terrible mistake along the way without you even knowing it so when it doesn't happen from your first time then you have to try a new with this time a, a different strategy and also the five of wands does implicates a little bit of a competition you may uh, face along the way and instead of uh, finding that competition as a something that will bring you down rather accept the competition as a something that will simply make you better Judgment card as a um, lesson learned in conjunction with the uh, previous three cards does speaks that this uh, particular small opportunity, you know, um, uh, this uh, yeah slowly emerging opportunity, in fact, is going to be something that may feed your family, or it could be the relationship you have waited for a, a long time. Because the judge, the judgment card is about the wake up call. It is about the call of the universe that when uh, it whispers, only those who hear it it uh, has to follow the voice. And you, Gemini's, are going to hear that whisper this uh, particular week um, in many various gazes. So, two of swords as a less as a um, energies which are going to support you points that you will be rather um, I could say shielded from making any wrong choices and from making any harsh uh, decisions. Something is going to make you doubt your wrong uh, approach or your wrong strategies, your wrong decisions that you are about to make. In case you are going to be prone to make such, all right, and. Uh, Basically, whenever pieces of information you require in order to kind of like uh, refine and define your strategy regarding the according to the case is going to be presented to you in one or other form. <clears throat> well, Beth, uh, don't you worry. This uh, video is going to be um, rebroadcasted or rather like you can find it on a record here on my Facebook page or on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, so you will not miss anything don't worry and by the way if you're here only for a race um, and you care to stay until the end at the end I'm going to draw cards for people from the audience and the end is after Pisces now we are a one-third way to Pisces going to Cancer Noticed what? What did you notice, guys? All right, going cancers, we do have, or doing cancers, we do have the five of wands as a topic of their lunar cycle. Then will be the page of swords as a uh, obstacles, or rather challenges that they need to overcome. Eight of Cups is uh, the um, intentions that they need to have. Knights of Wands is the lesson that they need to learn. 
and then we do have the Knights of Cups as a uh, energy which is going to support them. Now clearly here, uh, what we are going to talk about is a person which is there to your heart. So this uh, this lunar cycle will be all occupied with that. And the reason for that is that we do have the Page of Swords into a, a, a challenging position then next to the Five of Wands as a... Uh, um, as a topic. So clearly that person is going to uh, want to do something in their peripheral life, all right, in the life that doesn't concern you in general. So just to give you a quick example here, that could be your husband, which is planning to switch job and you are not very agreed with it, all right? So something like this, or it could be your kid, which, which wants to start I don't know, training martial arts and you will not be agreed with it. So it's going to be something that you're not very agreed with, all right? But in the same time, it, uh, a person that it is there to your heart, a person that you do love will want to really, really want to um, make it. Now, one thing you need to know here, guys, is that even if you reach a, a mutual agreement or understanding that this will not take place they will do it either way so they will hide from you in order to do it by the way um rolling back the tape in the past this uh, reminds me of the time when i was hiding myself from my parents because i like to smoke you know because i i smoked back then and i didn't want them to know about it because they didn't approve it so pretty much until i uh parted ways with, with my family and started to live on my own i have hid myself uh, from them, you know, smoking. Anyway, so something of that caliber, it is what you need to overcome cancers during this uh, particular week. Now, don't be mad to that person. You need to know that you always are not necessarily a virtue for other people's, all right? And your ways may not work for them. So you need to leave them to find their own ways, all right? Give them, at least give them a chance. That is displayed here in the intentions that you need to overcome, uh, intentions that you need to have with the Eight of Cups, typical card saying that if you're, um, I mean, even though the current situation doesn't satisfy you, you need to leave it behind you and move forward to your future so a, a better perspective emerges. And it is what's going to happen for you guys. A better perspe perspective will emerge for you soon that will um, cooperate uh, I mean, you and that person will co cooperate furthermore. Knights of Wands, it is about the strategies I was talking about or the ways, all right? So that card points that the lesson you need to learn is that your ways works for you and they will not work for somebody else, all right? So don't try to bruise your ways upon your husband, upon your co-worker, upon your boss or upon your child. And at, la at last... We do have the Knight of Cups as an energy which is going to support you here. And you will find the goodness within. All right. So no matter how much that particular idea or that particular activity is going to aggravate you, at the end, for what it seems, you will be in peace with it. You will be humble about it because you are going to still find the goods and the benefits in it, uh, even though, you know, you may not fully approve it. So that's for you, Cancer, for that lunar cycle. Uh, then going to Leo. Thank you, Daniel. I hope that I do have an hour at all. I'm so sleepy these days. All right, now, Leo, uh, judgment will be the first card for you guys, which marks up the topic of this uh, lunar cycle, of this eclipse. Now, this is not just a lunar cycle, guys. That is an eclipse. So it's lunar cycle on steroids, major steroids, all right, on something end game bodybuilding stuff. So um, Judgment as a topic of your week. Then we do have the six of swords as a challenges that you need to overcome. Uh, and 
now that I'm thinking about it, no wonder that we do have so major arcanas today. Then it's going to be the Eight of Pentacles, which is uh, the intentions you need to have. Uh, the Eight of Cups is going to be the lesson that you need to learn. And the Temperance, that will be uh, the energies which are going to support you. So uh, these cards are speaking for an activity you are going to lead, which uh, you are going to find your calling from one or another reason. All right. So that will be a, a, a thing which you will find yourself very good at either into your career or either into your relationship life. For example, you may find that you are very good at flirting, all right? And um, until this day, you may thought that you are terrible in it, but now you have found your ways, basically. Thing, however, is that this, th this uh, activity that you have found out that you are very good at uh, kind of jeopardizes uh, ongoing agendas or, on or ongoing activities, all right? And you have to kind of um, be able to incorporate it or be, a be able to even fuse it is the word that I was uh, searching for to make a fusion somehow and um, basically place yourself outside of your comfort zone and reach a an inner peace. It is all about the inner peace for you guys here. With that temperance as an energies and the six of swords as a challenges, it is all about uh, being convinced being self having that self conviction that you do have the time you do have the energy and you do have the right that is very important that you do have the right to try to be happy so for you leo here it is all about trying to be happy one way or another all right so uh it's kind of like having a very thin thin line here of what you can uh, you can do and especially for those leos which are kind of um lying to themselves that they are very happy at their job or they are very happy at their um, relationship uh, because they are misjudging security for happiness. Now here the happiness will be found outside of security guys and uh, while you feel yourself extremely secure the true happiness may elude you. Who knows? So no harm done by you trying to do something crazy and something exciting during this particular week. Eight of Pentacles as a um, intentional wise <clears throat> is the readiness to step outside of the world. The world. Intentional wise, Eight of Pentacles, it is a, about opening, all right, making yourself much uh, broader to accept not exactly newness, but to accept new means, new, new, um, new options available to work with, all right? Either relationship-wise or either career-wise. And for relationship-wise, I will give you examples straight away. Uh, let's say that you are dating one person uh, and you know that that person have a crush on you, all right? So that makes you extremely secure knowing that if you want to have a relationship, you're going to have one relationship. But in the same time, uh, you know, you are not finding yourself very appealed to that person in the same time. And what happens here is that you have to kind of open yourself for new options available. So try out different people, right? Because these cards are also saying that you definitely uh, can go and try out to date with other people. You do have those options available. And um, you basically need to uh, show to the world that you do want to expand your life in any kind of direction, either career-wise or relationship-wise. So, uh, Eight of Cups, uh, as a, a lesson that you need to learn, is um, a pretty broad, and uh, in, in my opinion, it is the only card that doesn't fit very well here, because to me, that card says that um, you have to basically leave the poignant experience from your recent past in the past, and now try and use some uh, activities that you have end up failing back in the, uh, in the recent days, all right? in the recent past days. Let's say that you have been denied recently from being in a relationship or you have been denied from have a promotion or from have a, a, a salary raise, etc, etc. But denying back then doesn't mean denied forever, right? So you have to try anew. 
and for the energies i pretty much said that these energies will allow you guys this time around to also cope very well with the things that are uh, aggravating you and annoying you which will make you step outside of your comfort zone with much more ease so now going to virgo Virgos, uh, your um, topic of this uh, eclipse is going to be the Emperor card. Then we do have the Five of Swords as a uh, challenges. Then is the Three of Swords as intentional eyes. Um, six of Wands is lesson that you need to learn. And then we do have the Five of Wands as a um, um, energies which are going to support you. Now, uh, what makes impression here is that you do have only a masculine card, or rather cards of action. So, uh, Emperor uh, as a topic of the week, this time, uh, the, of the topic of the lunar cycle, this time around, because we do have the, the five of swords next to it as a challenging position, it does speak that you have to very well discover uh, your limitations or in other words to realize what actually you can do against what actually you cannot do very important here Virgos I mean um, I know that every person thinks that it is better than it is presented all right I every person is better than the assessment given from work uh, or at least that's what person he thinks every person thinks that it is better than what their boyfriend or a girlfriend is making them etc etc but this time around seriously you have to seriously um, think about what kind of limitations you do have and under limitations I mean uh, what actually you can demand and what actually you can uh, offer into either one's career or either into one relationship five of swords here next to the Emperor points that by you extending your limitations all right or by you presenting yourself as a person who can do much more than what they actually can do you are basically doing more harm than uh, than good to you or to yourself so uh what actually here takes place all right is to focus first on the small things that are in front of you rather than to focus yourself on the uh biggest goal that you have uh, that you have placed it in front of you in front of you so uh just to give you an example of that guys because i like to uh, work with examples so uh, let's say that you want to be a Wall Street broker, all right, but you have just finished um, university. Well, you can't go there, or if you go there, your score has to be goddamn impressive, all right? So first you have to start broking or kind of like making broker thing somewhere else just so you can build up a name so things needs to be with a um, logical consistency they need to have a follow-up before you actually can focus upon your uh, certain goal and by because we do have the tree of swords here Virgo as intentional wise surely you will not like the place where you have to kind of stand for now for this lunar cycle just so you can kind of like build up a name for yourself or you know or build up a portfolio if you want to say it that way or build up an impression in a person of interest or a um, uh, your potential partner so six of wands as a uh, lesson learned in in your case here at this point that everything is a milestone um, I mean whatever it is achieved you know it is just a step toward a greater success that being said, it will be beneficial if you start for something small and secure it and, you know, uh, consolidate it before you actually jump to the bigger goal because the more milestone you, uh, milestones you do have, the more checkpoints you do have to the uh, 
final goal, the better. Because a checkpoint is a checkpoint. You can't fall lower than that. But if you go directly for the end goal, you may fall for a high place from a high places. And it definitely hurts when you do so. Five of uh, wands, as same as Aries, I think here points that you will be able to very well redefine your, not just your strategy, but your approach as well. Deflect any kind of competition and being able to uh, mitigate and alter with whatever means you do have at this uh, at this very moment. So as soon as you define how much you can achieve during that particular week, guys, uh, five of wands taking place will make you do the most out of it. So in other words, you will be able to do much from uh, from less. Okay, so that was uh, that was for Virgo, and then we go to Libra. I guess we're not making break. I mean, we're only 35 minutes in, so. Yeah, Corinna, every step is, is a step further than zero. And uh, they don't have to be at all small steps, you know, because every person has different goals. But obviously, if you want to become a president, for example, of the United States or, or you know, uh, the uh, president of European Union, you can't all jump into that straight away i mean you have to build up a name so we're talking about that kind of a high goals here So Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising, for you guys we do have the Ace of Wands as a uh, topic of the Lunar Cycle, then is the Lover's card uh, behind it as a uh, challenges and Three of Wands as a uh, lesson, uh, not lesson learned but the intention wise or the intentions that you should adopt during this Lunar Cycle. King of Wands speaks for the lesson that you need to learn and afterwards we do have the Queen of Pentacles as an energies which are going to support you. So um, here Libra what we do have is something quite similar to I think Gemini's or Taurus's was. But the Ace of Wands is a topic of your week. This represents that you will uh, have to deal with a lot of things which are going to be thrown uh, around you. So that card points to rather chaotic uh, flow of events, but also points to uh, quite of a new beginnings that you can establish either career-wise or relationship-wise. And under new beginnings, I'm not talking about these grand new beginnings like new job or new relationship uh, as a uh, the full card or the world card or whatever card is uh, presented. Here, the Ace of Wands speaks for those kind of small enterprises, you know, like a, uh, a new vocational uh, destination or um, rather like a, a new place where you can drink your coffee into your uh, working breaks, etc., etc. New way to deal with, um, with co-workers or in general, you know, new tasks that you have to cope with into your uh, working place. So it's kind of like um, uh, that, that kind of points that you will experience quite a lot of varieties into your daily routine by coping with your undertakings right now. But also the card points that you are, that it is likely that most of you are going to um, uncover rather some new talents on their behalf. All right, so be on your watch out uh, of uh, finding out that you can do something very well that you didn't done until now. Lover's card into a challenging position points that things are going to be so much or rather the activity is going to be so much that you will have a hard time concentrating on the root of the issue so you could get uh, blown away from the flow of events so uh, you have to be extra focused during this uh, this lunar cycle this is the only challenge that you got to uh, that you got to overcome and how you can do so three of wands as intentional wise speaks that you have to keep things tight you have to keep things uh, organized and uh, as well you know uh, st structured into a, a very solid pattern all right so it will be beneficial for you uh, Libras to make to-go list and follow that to-go list 
because um, it is likely that first of all by doing so you will uh, kind of like uh, free some time for yourself you know some personal time and on top of that you will find a place to uh, even set up a, a great goals or rather like to lift up the bar a little bit of performance which uh, in your case is going to pay off big time and then we do have the king of wands <clears throat> which is the lesson that you need to learn and uh, that is quite a big lesson actually because the king of wands here points that the only improvement happens through having a high expectation so you have to have you need to have excuse me a, a very high expectations of your performance of your job and especially of the people that are working with you all right compromises are unacceptable failures should be unacceptable for you um, i mean failures of other people that you have entrusted towards you and that will kind of uh, let's say separate the uh the useful folks from the useless ones all right and at the end hopefully you're you're going to be surrounded with only such people which can actually contribute for your well-being queen of pentacles energy wise points that it is unlikely that the energies will allow you to miss a, a grand opportunity uh, throughout this ridiculously uh, dappled with any kinds of event flow of life all right so you have to be really prepared to be very very busy libras i mean from dusk till down it is that you will have what to do and at, at, at certain points it will be also way too much i mean you may burn out very quickly so uh, that's why you have to keep your things quite organized Alright, so next one, that will be Scorpio. All right, so Ace of Swords, Scorpio, for your topic of the week. Then we do have the Sun card as the challenges. It's kind of, I don't know, should I be um, agitated positively about that or kind of despondent? We shall see with the next cards, all right? Uh, Intention-wise, we have the Four of Cups, so things are getting better and better. Uh, then uh, is the Knight of Pentacles, uh, representing the lesson that you need to learn uh, Scorpio so that we need to learn and my favorite cards for energy wise that will be the five of swords energies which are going to support you throughout this lunar cycle all right so uh, what we have here first of all uh, it does look like that we are balanced in between passive and active elements but we do have the ace of swords as a topic of our lunar cycle and that speaks that we uh, actually need to how can I place it we need to talk about things which are really sent down into sync that could be our broken and unworking relationship but although we are still in it because we can't find a way out neither a, a way in all right so these things needs to be cleared up so it's kind of like this lunar cycle this eclipse is going to present us with a certain breakthrough in either direction but at the end we're going to feel ourselves much more relieved now the sun card as a challenge points that this lunar cycle is going to set our situation which is kind of uh, set on how which is uh, you know stagnated which is a dead end, back into track into its uh, natural state. But it's going to be challenging, all right? We need to put in an extra effort, we need to put an extra vigor, and for some of us, especially business-wise, extra money. Because the sun, because uh, the sun in Korea, it is about monetary gains and monetary uh, matters, all right? So if a project isn't budging out for you guys, it will most likely require, first of all, thorough negotiations and honest ones, all right? And on top of that, it will require extra investments. So, 
Four of Cups is a, as an intention wise. Now this card is a little bit tricky here. First of all, it is in between uh, an enemy and a friend into the spread. So it does really look like uh, it does really depends what you want from that lunar cycle. And I will try to explain that way. So now, now if you want to um, resolve your situation, which is in house, all right. Uh, you have to spend extra, either time, money, effort, you know, pride, if you want to say it that way as well, because we're talking about negotiations here and compromises are strictly linked to pride and self-respect. On another hand, you know, you could uh, be prone more to the lesson that you need to learn, which is that uh, if you don't have, if you don't support your actions with the uh, right convictions and determinations and compassion on top of that, there is no point doing it. So, in other words, really will depend is this situation is something that you truly care for, or it is something that you are doing out of pride and out of um, dignity, right? Because um, as we spoke about truth here, the truth is that dignity does not dictate the whole truth to be revealed or told. All right. So basically, uh, if you find yourself miserable doing it, then there is no point doing it because the lesson is that, guys, if your actions are not supported with the right convictions and determination and you don't put the compassion behind them, there is no point doing it. And the last we do have the Five of Swords as an energies which are going to support you. Now, these are violent energies, first of all. Uh, these energies are always going to make you being capable, regardless of what. Capable of leading negotiations, you know, capable of enduring oppositions, especially opposition. Now, if we're talking about opposition and rivals, enemies here, wow, God, they don't have any chance. Because these cards are speaking that you, Scorpio, things are going to get so bad that you are not going to give a crap anymore about what consequences will follow from your actions. If you allow the monster to step in, the monster within to step in and you will totally annihilate whatever opposition you do have. Uh, or you could be totally focused upon your own personal success and happiness, you know, don't care about the others. And that way you move totally again uh, toward, not against, excuse me, toward your interest, regardless if that interest serves the people that you are bind with. All right. So it's kind of like a matter of choice here, Scorpios, and you have to decide what makes you happy. And that's why as well, we do have the Ace of Swords. Now, it is um, about time, guys, that you actually place in an accurate diagnosis about the place you are in right now. Is your relationship something that you are feeling happy with? Is your job something that you're feeling happy with? A friend, a friendship circle, etc., etc. Basically, uh, these cards are pointing again that you are struggling with something. All right. Well, everybody struggles with something, but this thing it is going and going and going, and uh, it seems that nobody can find a solution for because nobody has the guts to do it. Or kind of like there is a lot of a lot of in stake here, and nobody wants to take the risk. But the time has come someone to answer uh, for the actions that have been taken and for the actions that are about to be taken. Okay, so then we go to Sagittarius. So Sagittarius says, we do have the Eight of Swords as a topic of your lunar cycle. Then will be the Page of Pentacles as a challenges that you have to overcome here. Um, the Hierophant is intentions that you should adopt during this lunar cycle. Star card, it is um, the lesson that you need to learn. And then we do have the Eight of Cups as in an energies which are going to support you. Just like that. 
So uh, you likewise, cancer, are going to have to deal with person, but the reason will be entirely different. Now I think that this is mostly related related to your career and to your um, business life. All right. But the bottom line here, uh, Sagittarius, is, is that this person is going to be extremely stubborn. And uh, they will not want to see the reason behind your words or the reason behind your strategies. That displayed in the Eight of Swords with the Page of Pentacles next to it as a challenge speaks that there will be a seriously dis disrupted or misinterpreted statement from your from your side from uh, from a, a person that is tightly related to your improvement in life in general. All right, so. Or if we're talking about here a personal life, you're single and you do have a person of interest, these couple of cards may speak that this person is, in, is misinterpreting your signals and what you are saying to them. Probably because you're not saying it straight, but you are trying to kind of like uh, make them presume what you want to say. And uh, they're misinterpreting your messages. So literally that's that and it is because that person it's kind of like uh, how can I say it? narrow minded okay they know only one way and they don't want to see any way around any other way around it so what happens here is we do have the hierophant card intentional wise first of all the the, the pathway toward the heart and toward the um the favor of this person uh is through um I just forgot the word. <laughs> One second. Um, is to trust. All right. So you first need to make that person to trust you, and then when they start trusting you, then they can uh, actually make the effort to um, try to understand you in any case or in any way that you are trying to explain yourself. So it's all about communications here, guys. And uh, when you um, when you engage such kind of a um, frustrating, you know, expl explanatory regimes with uh, with someone, uh, then what you need to do here is to uh, kind of like uh, be prone more to uh, theory than uh than examples because uh in examples they will adopt kind of like a different vision it is it's quite complex to be explained but uh at the end of the day the hierophant here intentional wise points that you have to explain yourself with not with examples all right but with uh with the theory behind your actions like i don't know like that until now it is done that that way and it has to be done that way further into the future but uh these cards uh as we add the star card next to the hierophant as a lesson that you need to learn that only kind of enhance the idea of support so you have to be a support of that person probably they are feeling quite lonely all right they are feeling misunderstood they are feeling like against the world and they are trying desperately to find um I can't say really a soulmate because in my language, um, uh, soulmate it's uh, it's a little bit different from what uh, people in the Western world understand. It is more like they're trying to find a compatible person to share time with and to share um, how can I say pain and joy with. All right, but it doesn't have to be a, a relationship here. And the star card also points that uh, when you become a, a support to somebody, then you are giving them something to look forward to, which is a, a great blessing. And the eight of cups is the energies which are going to support you here as uh, the energy. Oh, well, how can I explain it? Uh, these energies gives you the ability to kind of like uh, banish delusions and banish uh, wrong way of thinking, should I say that way. So it does look like that you will help during this lunar cycle, Sagittarius, to someone to find their way. So um, I hope that uh, most of you does not find that reading discouraging because people usually are hoping to learn something for their direct personal life. But for you, this eclipse, Sagittarius, is going to be totally circumstantial, all right, and totally collateral. And from another standpoint, it is quite positive. 
because there will be no tantrums and no upheaval in your life in general. So next one, that will be Capricorns. Ah, damn. My nose is itchy again. Hello, David. Capricorns, topic of your week, this is going to, uh, not of your week guys, of your lunar cycle, this is going to be the uh, Sun card, then we do have challenges, Ace of Pentacles, Tower card is going to be the intentions that you should adopt here, Two of Pentacles points to the lesson that you need to learn, and then we do have the Two of Wands which uh, speaks for the... Um, for the energies which are going to support you. So we do have quite of a choose into this reading. Three as a matter of fact, because we have number nine, which is, you know. <clears throat> anyway, no, excuse me. We have double ones and we have double twos. So um, anyway, this, num this num numerology points to how can I place it? points to a, a solid initiation, right? A very calm, peaceful, and very solid establishing of uh, a new path in life. And that is displayed very well here with the Sun card because finally this lunar cycle will mark the era where the things, your relationship, your career, your friendship circle, or in general, your life, Capricorns, is going to start uh, for a change now developing entirely natural. And when that starts to happen, you will, uh, it is likely that you improve uh, even, even physically. What I mean is that even your help, your health, you know, it is likely to improve because the Sun card does speaks for that. And also your vigor is going to improve. You will want to experience more and more from this world, which is going to give you the, um, the yearning, you know, to kind of initiate in general, initiate in, in many things. But the Sun card also points that you will be very, very happy and satisfied during this lunar cycle. The Ace of Pentacles as a challenge only begs the question here where to initiate. So maybe for some of you it's time to start a private business. Maybe for some of you it is, uh, you know, time to, uh, I don't know, um, ask for a reassignment into your job. For some of you it's time to basically uh, get involved with somebody around you into a more intimate intimate manners and etc etc the thing is that we have the tower card as a uh, intentions and that card speaks that you have to stress your life right you need to kind of like squeeze it so you can see uh, where there are leaks and so you can um, we can kind of fill up the gaps there. So it's all about realizing you Capricorns what you have been missing until this very moment and finally being able to actually make an uh, addition to your life by, by adding whatever you have been missing until now. And just to give you an example, it could be that you have been working so hard lately that you did not reflect your family or your relationship or your friends even. Or you may have reflected so much your friends that you have forgot how important your job is, you know. But the Tower card generally speaks that you need to kind of embrace a certain transformation, which is going to make you happier than you have been until now. Two of Pentacles. What we do have here as a lesson that you need to learn is that you have to be adaptable. I mean, things, uh, I mean, person, while it is good to have established a strategy and strict plan, sometimes one misses... Uh, a lot of, uh, how can I place it, a lot of a good time and a lot of uh, these small kind of changes and opportunities, small opportunities, what I mean, not big ones, but small opportunities which simply makes one life easier. So this lunar cycle here, it will be best to, how can I place it, it will be best for you guys to um, 
to be playful, you know, to be adaptable. Just don't bother with making to-go lists. Don't bother with creating a solid plan. Not because it's not going to be initiated, but because you're going to have so much more fun and so so much more fun and so much more uh, joy, you know, to basically face whatever it is going uh, or it is coming in your way day by day, either into your career or either into your relationship. And not to mention that people are going to find um, a new personality in you, which isn't bad. For example, if someone, if people were uh, are thought until now that you are a jerk and they did not like you, now they will see that they have been so wrong that they probably are going to curse themselves. Two of Wands as a uh, energies which are going to support you speaks for some sort of an aggression all right so that kind of points here that whenever you find what you have been missing thus far and you try to um let's say obtain it uh these energies are gonna make you very tenacious these energies are gonna make you very demanding and you have to be careful with that while it's gonna be granted for you during this week maybe at uh, these couple of weeks maybe afterwards you have to pay a certain price for it so you have to be very careful what you are demanding about and what will be the price for it because everybody everything has a price in this world everything and sometimes we don't calculate if calculated very carefully because we think that the means uh, justifies the result or the result justifies the means and at the end we pay a price more than we know all right so that was uh, capricorns now going to aquarius All right, Aquarius is the Emperor is going to be the topic of your lunar cycle. Then we do have the Five of Swords. Wow, that is peculiar. Uh, wasn't that the... Not the Libra. It was the verbal reading, I think, or Leo. They had the similar... Anyway, Six of Wands is going to be the lesson, not the lesson, but the intentions that you need to have. Moon card, that will be the lesson. And then is going to be the magician, which represents the energies that are going to support you through this lunar cycle. So four out four, or no, three major arcanas out of five cards. So quite significant cycle for you, Aquarius. And what we do have here, it is um, a great push. The great push it is what I'm gonna call that really. So for what it seems. Um, you Aquariuses are going to be on a verge of um, grant achievement, all right? And um, actually, a lot of people are counting on that achievement to happen. And you have been, you will be promised the great things if you are capable to push this thing through, either into one career or either into one relationship. As said before, the Emperor urges you to take responsibility and to establish a full control upon the situation because that control, it is presented to you. People are submitting and being succumbed willingly because they kind of place a great hope in you. The thing with the Five of Swords here into the... Uh, challenging position speaks that um, again it, this is about uh, limitations all right so uh, and these are not your limitations this time around like it was with the previous uh, star sign these uh, limitations are about the project or the agenda itself so uh, the only role that this card plays here is that you may end up disappointed of realizing that you kind of expected way to uh, way more than this all right um doesn't matter your performance here even if your performance is um 
is flawless, still you may not get what you have expected. And just to give you an example here, like a gambler, one gambler goes to a casino and expects to, uh, with, let's say, a system that they have developed and expect to, let's say, win a uh, $200,000 in there, but the system only gives him, let's say, $500,000. Uh, 50,000, excuse me, 500,000 is quite a lot, 50,000. So he gets disappointed that isn't really working the way he was anticipated, but at the same time is a win, all right? So you will still have your win here, all right? But uh, it's not, as I said, it may not be, or most likely it's not going to be that kind of like, uh, not beneficial really, but uh, with that kind of a, a grand effect that you uh, expect expected to be. However, we do have the ace, the six of wands into a um, uh, intentions. That speaks that this is just a uh, one kind of like line or let's say one um, cy not cycle, yeah, what cy one cycle of development of that particular agenda or that particular achievement. So the job is far from done, all right? And you can, um, let's say, develop it even further. So at the end, uh, what happens here is that at the end, you will still be able to uh, kind of like meet your expectations, but that, that will not happen this, during this lunar cycle. It will happen further into the future. And it's not going to happen with the minimum resources that you are anticipating. It's going to happen with a lot more, all right? But that will be prolonged with time. In, in time, all right? So you don't have to make those kind of like heroic offerings during this, um, during this lunar cycle. One second. So we have the moon card <clears throat> into um, uh, the lesson that you need to learn. Moon card points that everything happens for a reason. It basically asks you to have, uh, let's say, faith into your future. So this lunar cycle, this eclipse for you Aquarius, is, it's all about the distant future. All right, during this lunar cycle, you only reach a, a certain stage of, um, of development, which development is going to be a foundation for your greater future. And then we do have the Magician card as an energies which are going to support you. These energies are going to make your actions quite determined and quite important. But in, and quite impulsive and under impulsive I don't mean spontaneous I mean very uh, directed very very well channeled with a short duration but in the same time with a great momentum so they are capable to create a lot uh, a great things for a short period of time the, this card points that you will kind of be able to keep your sovereignty intact and in the same time, your communicational skills will be at their peak. So make use of that. And uh, last but not least, Pisces. Yeah, Yvonne, probably Harry says, gosh, Harry is always first and I always miss it. So, when I decided to start these lives, I pretty much set up the order, like their astrological order, Aries to Pisces, because no matter which sign is last and which sign is first, there will be always people complaining, so... At least that way, by keeping them in that order, people know what to expect. Anyway, Pisces, Ace of Cups is the topic of your we of your lunar cycle. Then we do have the Ten of Cups as a, a challenging card and the Five of Swords. A lot of Five of Swords. This uh, eclipse, I should kind of like consult myself with an astrologer to see what is going on there on the sky wow okay five of swords is a uh, intentional wise for you 
And then we do have the six of wands as a uh, uh, lesson that you need to learn. And afterwards, this is going to be the chariot card as a um, energy which is going to support you. Just to remind you guys, after Pisces, I'm going to answer for free by drawing a tarot card to a several questions. So if you want a reading for free, this is the way you get it. <clears throat> in case uh, you do want more in-depth reading, you know, you can uh, check out my services at my website tarotpredictions.net anyway thank you Lulu so uh, for you Pisces it seems that you will have an emotional opening here now the ace of cups with the ten of cups in a challenging position speaks that you are going to realize that emotionally simply is not enough so, uh, how can I place it? That is kind of like a, a bit of a dangerous situation here. Because uh, how you're going to realize it is through at an event that it is going to happen. And if this was a personal reading, I would very like... I, I would very like want to kind of like draw a, a Lenormand cards just to see what kind of an, an event is going to be. But it is... But as it is... Uh, a general reading is cumulative for every single one of you. So every single one of you will have different kind of events. But the thing here is, guys, that uh, throughout that event, you're going to realize that your current situation basically could improve, all right, or it could be better. And that, unfortunately, may not suit your partner into your relationship or your boss into your career or even your partner or kind of like no partner but co-worker. So we're talking about here realizing that you, Pisces, do deserve more than it is given to you, either by your partner into your relationship but your um, suitor as well or co-worker, boss, etc., etc. Very well displayed here with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups into a challenging position. So, intentional-wise, we do have the Five of Swords, and this card says only one thing, push it. You just need to push it, whatever it takes. You gotta go for it. Because otherwise, uh, you may regret for a quite a long time that you did not make yourself happy by that particular circumstance. So just to give you an example, and I will use um, an example of my youth, you know, which was kind of like a, a big reason why I kind of starved for girlfriends. It is because I don't like to go partying, I don't like to go discos. And when the girls, you know, go out once and they find themselves very happy in the disco, etc., etc., they kind of like place it on the front page instead of for example uh, choosing to spend an, the, the evening with their boyfriend who doesn't like going into disco they decide to go and you know uh, spend the night or kind of like the evening into one's disco because they are feeling themselves much happier uh, so something like this so you're gonna find an, an activity an enterprise that is gonna make you very happy um, or for some, that could be a new person, all right? So for some of you Pisces, that could be a love triangle that we do have here. And uh, what the cards are suggesting for you guys is to push it, it's just to go for it. Do it, because otherwise you may regret it, because uh, it will go behind your back here, or it will, it will go behind your, uh, behind your head for knowing that you had a chance to be happier and you did not took it and then we do have the six of wands as a lesson you need to learn which pretty much supports the uh, the team here and supports the the thesis of that uh, you have to live for those peak of experiences for those peaks of surges of, 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 of uh, pleasant passionate energy that are going through you uh, that could be the thrills which uh, someone creates in your heart that could be the trios which uh, are certain events create in you you know even that could be the shivers of excitement etc etc the bottom line is that you are going to be quite excited and that excitement will make you to uh, will uh, for not force you but make you to want more from life and that more from life uh, in order to take it 
could be related to some, I cannot say cruel uh, actions and decisions, but more like people will define them as a selfish. And unfortunately, the cards are telling that you should go for it. No questions asked about that. Then we do have the chariot card as a uh, energies which are going to surround you here and which are going to support you. Uh, these energies are quite broad, first of all, especially related to these cards. Uh, you Pisces, which are single, these energies are pointing that you will have no problem whatsoever, especially with those cup cards at the start, to be in a relationship with person uh, around you. And uh, uh, the Chariot card basically points to an energies which are allowing you to have a, a big momentum to be able to make huge jumps without... Um, overthinking the past. That being said, I think that you will have no remorse uh, or fear and you will have, let's say, no regret that you tried to be happier. So that was Pisces. And now, guys, you could uh, ask questions, all right? And uh, I will choose several of them and we'll draw a tarot card per question to answer. Oh, and by the way, uh, uh, those who have purchased their personal reports for the lunar cycle, those personal, personal reports are going to be fetched to them tomorrow, just so they know. And if you're interested in receiving those kind of reports, but, but personalized for you, then you can go to my website and check the lunar, uh, the new and full moon lunar cycle readings. Literally, you get two general readings for $25. And for those who want a different kind of services, they also can check out my website and see the services there. Upon purchase, I will contact you as soon as I see it, usually in the next hour if I'm not sleeping, and we will schedule a time um, for your reading, or I will tell you when your reading is going to be fetched in case um, record it. All right, so cards are shuffled and let's start choosing questions. Shelly Roy thinks things to sell her business, but not sure. Now, what can be done here, Shelly, is actually answering to a question, what happens if you sell your business? And from there, you can decide. So what happens is that will be the seven of wands. These are difficulties, Shelly, not to mention that probably you will not strike the best deal of the world here or the, the deal of the year. So um, I don't know if I had that card, I would have hold on to it at least for one year more. Mary Rakowski. Mary Rakowski. I hope this is how it is pronounced, because pretty much sounds Cyrillic to me, or rather Slovenian name. <clears throat> and uh, will money increase for me, is she asks. Uh, definitely, yeah. With the Four of Pentacles, that speaks that you are going to reach a, a point with your financial state, state which in which you are going to find yourself very comfortable at. So it speaks that you are going to be able to face all of your expenses, no problem whatsoever. <clears throat> Right. Um, very interesting question is what Julie Newhouse, I hope that I'm pronouncing it, it, it correctly, is asking, what am I missing? Uh, that will be the moon card. 
I, uh, I'm sorry for that answer, but this card points that you are not meant to know. I mean, whatever you're missing is going to be revealed to yourself in the right moment, in the right place. If you know it right now, probably you will screw up your future big time. So it is a good thing that you don't know. But just not to let you in an arid place right now, the Moon card suggests that the best thing you can do is to combine your um, imagination with your creativity, you know, and through it you are going to reach to the inside of what you are missing, if that makes sense. So, Leia Rose, is this a good year for me to move or should I wait until next year? So, uh, I will rephrase the question, Leia, saying, what happens if you move this year? And that will be the Emperor. And I think that uh, with that card, it seems that you are going to find yourself into a much more stable place. Uh, if it is about job, then this job is going to be quite secure that you're going to find yourself there. And it just is going to be a little bit more busier than you have anticipated. And uh, it, will, it will require uh, much more dedication, should I say. So, Kim Simon, any messages for me? It is what she asks. Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> Stop slacking, Kim. It's kind of like uh, right now that card points that the, uh, that the universe is giving you the chance to make what you want to make the, the way you want to make it. But it takes effort. It takes um, learning as well. It takes practicing. So, start practice. Either uh, into one career or either into one relationship life. Uh, you may practice how to flirt, you may practice how to read, for example, body language, etc., etc. To just make yourself better in what you are uh, in uh, deficiency right now. So, Tabata Baxter, any message for my crazy life? Oh boy. So, we got the swords. Okay, we got the, the, the dead man here. And anyway, uh, this card points that the life is going to be even crazier for you. Now, the Ten of Swords points that, um, let's say, you are going to start a new era in your life. And that era will come through loss that you will have to experience. And that does not mean loss, death of a person, all right? It's, this is not death of a person. That loss could uh, reflect to loss of trust. It could reflect to loss of relationship. It could reflect to loss of job, etc., etc. But after uh, this new era in your life is initiated, things are going to get much better because the Ten of Swords is usually uh, displayed as hitting the rock bottom. And the only way for you moving on forward is by improving, in, in other words, moving upwards. So climbing the, rock, uh, the, 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 the walls of this uh, hole that you have found, found yourself in. So yeah, things are going to improve, but you will need to be much more radical, or in other words, much more, um, well, irreversible with your decisions, irrevocable with them, you know, and in, in with your actions as well. All right. So, Tina Natasha Kieri, what do you see for me? Any messages? We have the King of Pentacles. So, as a message wise, uh, Tina, uh, you have to use your connections in order to cope with your difficulties. The King of Pentacles points as a, uh, as a message is that. The more you give in, the more you're going to get out. So, um, if you are not getting what you want, 
it is because you are not giving what it needs to all right okay let's see a couple more and i will go to uh, pass out because i'm so sleepy Alicia Nee, will I am I making the right career decision tomorrow? So you have already decided what you're going to decide, is that right? Because the decision is not being taken yet, is what I am. Well, that is kind of like a, um, I don't know. I don't understand the question, because it's about the decision. So you can decide not to take the decision or you can decide to decide something, you know, I don't know. So collect. Am I going to start a new project or refine the old? Any card that could help? That will be the old one with the Empress. And last one. I don't answer health questions guys just don't 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 ask health questions health related one Deborah Madia, am I being mislead in my current relationship? Ten of Cups, not at all. If you are finding yourself unhappy in it, it is because you have misleaded yourself that you can satisfy yourself with that relationship, but you can't. Right? So if you are not again, if you're not feeling happy in it, it is because you thought that this is going to be enough, but it isn't. And but if you are asking, is your partner misleading you? No, he doesn't. So that being said, guys, uh, this was uh, the lunar lunar eclipse into Aquarius, 27th of July, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And if you have missed your sun, moon, or ascendant sign, you can uh, rewatch the video here, which is going to be on a recording, or check out or check it out on my YouTube channel as well, which is going to be um, uploaded after a uh, 10 to 20 minutes, I think. And again, as uh, usual, it was an honor to be your host tonight for uh, this, you know, predictions. And I hope that things turn out very well for you and everybody gets what they want. Because sometimes, you know, you don't, we don't know what we want uh, or what will serve us best. So uh, what my point here is, is that we need to have a, a faith that things are happening for greater good, regardless of what is happening for us. So that being said, I wish you best of luck in the next couple of weeks. And don't forget that tomorrow, those who have purchased these reports for their personal needs, or rather like for personal reports, are going to uh, kind of receive them. And again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, um, you can check out my website and see my... Um, my services there and upon purchase uh, either I will let you know 
uh, when you're going to receive your recorded reading or uh, we will establish a scheduled time for both of us or kind of like we will schedule a, a time comfortable for both of us in which we can make that reading. So that being said, guys, I wish you best of luck and see you around. Until then, bye.